Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, people, man. I hope you're good. I'm good because I don't know where you are in the world, but right now, UK is having its seven days of summer and I'm loving it. So I'm hot. If you see me glowing, it's because I'm hot. But forget that. Today, I'm bringing you a silhouette from an independent company. But the difference with this is when you see the quality and the detail put into this kick and the price tag, you're not going to believe me. And you're going to start getting upset with the main people like Adidas and Nike because it just shows what can be done for a reasonable price and they don't do it. Let's go. Yes, so if you don't know me already, my name's Patrick T. I do reviews on all kinds of kicks and trainers. And I'm here to kind of help you decide whether or not to cop or drop. That's it. I just want to help you decide whether the kick I'm reviewing is for you. You know, if you've got any questions, hopefully I can answer those questions for you. So let's just get into this. And we're talking about a new silhouette from the company called No Two Ways. Now, I did a review on one of their silhouettes before. I think it's up in one of these corners here. Go and have a look at it. It's started from a YouTuber called Kallax and he's designed these kicks with another guy. I've forgotten his name, so apologies. I put his name down in below, so go and have a look. They had a big launch of this or, you know, you could sign up pre-launch and get these kicks. I signed up, got the kicks. They arrived a couple of weeks ago. I should have got them done with you earlier, but I haven't, but I'm giving them to you now. When I talked about the quality, let me just start with the box. Now, here we have the box. It's just a normal box and it? it's white. But straight away, the box is heavy. It's proper cardboard. It's got a little cutout on the top there. It's got the gold strips going all the way around the box. And in on both sides, you've got these little um, holes with the No Two Way branding in there as well. Along the side, you've got another branding, No Two Ways. And then along the side, you've got, again, you've got the branding, No Two Ways, barcode, uh, the signature, the Calum, and all, obviously the recycling elements of the box. Now, when I say there's quality in these kicks, I mean it, and it starts from the box, because the box opens like a Prada box, or a any designer box. You've got the branding again, no two ways, right there in the middle of the box, and enough tissue paper. I'm not going to start touching tissue because it's all over it. You've got two layers of tissue paper and tissue on the side so the kicks do not move while they're in the box. You also get a dust bag, which you normally always get with your designer kicks with no two way branding on it there, as you can see. And you also get a spare pair of laces. Now, the laces are white, just like the laces what are lined up in the kicks. The only difference is the lace tabs. These ones are white and the ones on the kicks are orange. Now the kicks themselves come out the box, laced up. I've obviously had to try these on because I wanted to tell you whether or not they're true to size and tell you how they feel inside. But let's just start with what we normally do and let's start with the sole. So as you can see, we have a no two ways kind of branding or design here. It's not nothing you've seen another shoe. If you look closer, you'll see that there's little paisley patterns with no two ways symbols running through on the heel and around the ball of the foot as well. You've got this massive orange streak in the arrow going through the center of the shoe, stops in the midsection. And then again, on the ball of feet, you've got the orange with the paisley and no two ways prints inside. On the midsole, you've got the sole design or the, the grit, etc., coming up onto the midsole in a molded type fashion. And you've, again, you can see the no two ways branding on the heel or the foot there. When we move to the uppers, it's just one type of leather with mixes of overlays on top of overlays and a little bit of plastic attached in there. So let's start with the first overlays. You've got the first overlay, what I can see is on the heel. That has a little bit of indentation into it, as you can see there. So it makes it look like it's cushioned. And then the second overlay is kind of all in one, but they've separated it. And this covers obviously around the side of the shoe and the toe box of the shoe as well. That is the same on the heel on the inside of the heel. And again, you can see there's a little type of indentation to make it look like there's a cushion there on the inside there. The lever itself is not soft, but not hard, but you can feel that it's not crappy lever. 
basically. Different overlays carrying on, carrying on. So you've got like, it looks like one, two, three types of overlays carrying on through there. Just around where the laces start or the second hole up, you've got a bit of plastic, which is stitched in. You've got no two ways emblems on there and the lace goes through there. If you carry on up the hill, you'll then see that there's another piece of plastic. Well, basically at the top of the shoe laces with four holes in it, where you can decide how you lace your shoes. Now, the lever again carries along around the heel collar and the inside of the shoe is a nylon material, quite cushioned, if I'm honest you, not too cushioned, but quite cushioned, so it makes it comfortable. When wearing these, your foot does sink into the heel quite nicely. So there's no give at the back and you know, you're locked in. The laces themselves, I kind of felt they're very soft laces. And like I said, on the ones what are sewn in, you get an orange tip and they're exactly the same as the white ones. You've got a little lace tab, which is in gold, which says no two ways there. And on the left shoe, you get a tag, which is attached to the shoe. And this says, it basically gives a details on the box. It gives a size. And it says the composition is upper leather lining textile. The inner sock is leather and the outsole is recycled. There's nothing else on that apart from on the back, it says no two ways branding again. Nice touch. I won't, I don't know if I'll have it hanging on. I'm not too sure, but I can see it getting lost because it could pop off and you know, then you've lost it really. But it doesn't look too bad hanging off. I must admit, it doesn't look too bad if that's for me. The tongue itself doesn't come up as high as I thought it would. But again, you've got a leather overlay on a nylon type tongue. This has the No Two Way branding on there. You've got a little pull tag on the tongue, which I don't really think is a pull tag. I just think it's an added design. The tongue inside is leather. And again, it says No Two Ways, UK and basically gives the details again. Inside the shoe, the inner sole is very thick, as you can see there. And again, you've got no two ways branded in gold there, and you've got the orange, and it looks recyclable. It looks like it's re using recyclable material there. It's very comfortable, I'm honest with you. The other little detail you've got is when you take out the laces, which you're probably not gonna do, there's an adjustable strap inside, which means that if you didn't wanna wear these with laces, or you want your laces loose, the trainer itself will still stick to your foot because of this strap and you can adjust it. It's got Velcro in it, so you can adjust it how tight you want it or not, basically. So if you've got a high instep, you can adjust it so it doesn't hurt your instep, which is a nice little touch. I've never seen it before, if I'm honest with you. I don't know if what I'm saying is why they've done it. I feel that that's the reason why you'd have that in there because you could not type your laces and still have the shoe stuck to your feet and it makes sense to me. I have to say, these are quite comfortable. They feel like a light Air Force One, if you understand what I mean. They're solid like an Air Force One. They give it Air Force One vibes, but they're not as thick as the Air Force One. I think they've got better quality leather than mo a lot of Air Force Ones what are generally released or the triple white ones. It's I feel like I'm being disrespectful by comparing it to Air Force One, but I'm just trying to let you understand how this sits. Now these actually fit true to size. Like I said, you can adjust the, the strap inside to if you've got a high instep to make it feel more comfortable or make it tighter so it just fits on your foot even better. In terms of pricing, these were 110 pounds, 110 pounds. You get a dust bag, you get extra laces, the quality of the box is phenomenal, the leather is phenomenal, the details on the hair are phenomenal and it's only 110 pounds. Now, when I said to you you'd be upset with the bigger brands, let's work this out. A Jordan 1 general release usually has horrible leather. Usually not that great, but you're paying £165. You might get a mid, whoever likes mids, you're paying £145. An Air Force 1, which has not had the greatest leather for a long time, now, I might be wrong, I'm not an Air Force One guy because I don't like trainers which die after five wears. I'm sure they're 110 pounds or even more now. Depends on what collab and whatever. This is an independent company. Hasn't got the biggest pool like Nike or Adidas. Hasn't got the resources like that's companies. I understand those companies put a lot more into their designs and et cetera, et cetera. But to design this trainer, I guess they had to put the same amount of work in, the same amount of 
researching the materials, the same amount of designs and redesigns, etc., etc., had to go into it to come up with this product and they still kept it at 110 pounds. It makes you question, are we being bumped? And the answer is, we know we're being bumped, but we still go and buy them. So if you want an alternative, which is a nice summer white kick, not too flashy, not too understated, just enough to make you look again and appreciate what you've got on your feet, then no two ways of hit the mark. I mean, the, the, like the, the soul gives me like a Prada types feeling on the back. You know, it doesn't go as high as a Prada and definitely not a Prada, but it gives me that Prada type vibe to it. That's all I've really got to say on this. I'm actually glad I bought these. That's all I've got to say. I'm actually glad I bought these and I'll be rocking these in the sunshine, in the weather, what we're having now without any hesitation. If you enjoyed the video, please, like I said before, hit the like button, hit subscribe button, make sure you hit notification bell. Let me have your comments. If there's any trainers you think I should review or you want to know about and I can help you, I will try and help you. But that's me. My name is Patrick T. I'm out. Peace.